disappointing game uh, for us. Uh, I want to, before I go into our performance, let me just start by complimenting uh, Coach O'Leary and his staff and his players. Uh, I think they've got an excellent football team this year. I think they did, uh, did an excellent job preparing for us. And um, yeah, there's no surprise why they're having the, the season that they're having. Their quarterback's an exceptional player, an excellent decision maker, a very accurate passer. And, and we had opportunities to get them on the ground in the first half, and, and we couldn't do it. And uh, I don't know what the first half third down stats were, but I know that you know, when you finish 9 for 13 on, on, on third down, that's how you sustain drives. That's how you get a time of possession advantage uh, the way they had tonight. Question. Well, it's, uh, it's the third time in four games. Both sides, offensive and defense, have just not performed. Is there anything you can explain to at this point to kind of get this thing turned around two games up? I don't know that there's there's anything I can explain right now until we watch the film. I think we have to watch the film, and I think we have to, to do what we do as coaches, evaluate it, evaluate ourselves first, you know, make sure that we're putting the players in the best position. I know in the first half we had players in position to make plays on defense. Um, we couldn't get certain players on the ground, and that sustained drives, so we have to – do two things: make sure we're putting them in the, in the right position with the right calls, and, and make sure we've got the right people on the field to uh, to make those plays. If we are, then we're doing what we need to do. If we're not, then we got to change. And I think it's the same thing on offense. I think we got to evaluate every position at this point on the field because certainly it's always easy to look at the quarterback, and, and that's the easy one to look at. But I don't know that he got a lot of help. You know, we didn't run the ball very well in the first half. At times we protected okay. At times we didn't. How do you explain the, just the general softness? Of the I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't use that expression. I know people use it. I, I wouldn't. I think we've got a, a defense, a group of defensive players who play very hard. Um, I don't think we tackle as well as, as we can. I think we can do that better. The rationale and the field goal at the end for the second straight week. Yeah, for me, I'm trying. I'm really trying to gauge if, if we're improving at that position. If it's not a position where, in, until the last couple of weeks, I felt like we had a definitive starter and somebody that. It was as reliable as I wanted them to be. And in the last two weeks, you know, we got down there, and instead of attempting a fourth down in a, in a game where I didn't think we had enough possessions to win the game, I felt we had give Kyle a chance to, to prove that he could be our starting kicker. And, and in both cases, he's made the kick, so I'm, I'm pleased with that. Kyle, what was the feeling going into halftime? Because they had scored on their first four possessions, so <coughs> that was a negative. But you had just come off the block punt. Probably got some energy from that. that touched oh, sure. Yeah, I, th I think there was a lot of positive energy in the locker room, and we had some momentum. You, know, you, s you block a punt, you score, and you're down 14, getting the ball to start the second half. And, and the first drive of the second half, we don't execute as well as we need to, and it's three and out, and they go down and kick a field goal. It's one of the turning points in the game. It's, it's not the only turning point in the game, but, but it's one of them. You know, we had an opportunity there to get within one score, and we weren't able to capitalize on it. So does that that second and I think if you had a second and one there and you had two incompletions and then they had the ball for eight minutes is that specifically a turning point right there the not getting that it's one of the, it's, it's certainly one of the turning points in the game you know, we had opportunities in the first half to stop them and get off the field you know, those are other turning points in the game as well you know when a team opens the game with four straight touchdown drops I and mean, you had opportunities to get off the field you know, it, it's never just one thing but but. First drive of the second half, we're getting the ball down 14. We have an opportunity to get to within one score, and we're not able to capitalize. It's it's one of the critical points in that game. I mean, it's not all on, on Gary, but certainly a fair amount of it has to be on him. Was there any thought of going to Chase sooner? And if, if there any chance you might lose Chase in these final two games and stuff? I think we'll, we'll make that decision tomorrow after we look at the film. Uh, evaluating it on the field, I don't think Gary was very accurate today. Yeah, I think he'll uh, he'll feel the same way when, when he looks at the film. I think he had some throws that that he's has made uh, with better location you know, this season and, and was not able to do that tonight. Um, this is just, this thing's kind of happened through the past four games. Are you concerned about the psyche of the team being dispirited, maybe losing the focus? I don't know if that's probably the blame for missed tackles, uh, intensity. Is any of that a concern for you at this point? I am not concerned with it because I watch how the team plays through the end of the game, even through that last kickoff. And you see guys that are playing with, with tremendous effort, and I don't see a team 
that it is discouraged. Are we frustrated? There's no doubt. We have a very frustrated locker room right now. Players, coaches, we put a lot of time into preparing for this game. And the result was not what we wanted. And in a lot of ways, we feel like we can play better, but we need to play better. Yeah. And I just said to the team, I said, these are, these are, the, are the moments in your life that will define you, you know, how you respond from them. Kyle, every offense is a little different, but have you noticed any areas of progress with how your defense poses spread offenses? Yeah, you know, this offense is, 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 is much different than the others. It's not a no-huddle offense. Uh, the, the, the similarities that they have an, an excellent quarterback, and, and Bortles is a, a tremendous player. Um, did, did I see some things to, be, to, to feel good about in the second half? You know, we held them to a couple, couple field goals? Sure. Uh, sure, I did. Yeah, but we need to play better to start the game. Kyle, did you see something before Gary's first interception? As you tried to call timeout, didn't get it. Um, is there something you saw that you wanted to stop that play before it happened? Or you know, I, you know, I have play? to go back. Sometimes when that's the case, it's it's the shot clock running out. I think that's what it was on that. Play. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to make sure we didn't get a delay game, and then the play got off. And if the play gets off, they don't usually burn, burn your timeout. I think it was close. That's why. Okay. Uh, Paul's Paul James's rushing numbers is that mainly just their defense or obviously we're going to ask how healthy, how is he you know coming back from his absence the, the four day four day layoff I think I think I think Paul is, is healthy I thought they they whipped us up front early in that football game and I didn't think we were able to, to handle them you know their front set and I'm, I'm disappointed in that now I want to I got to look at the film to see where exactly the breakdowns were you know, I'm listening on the headset, but until you look at the film, you're not, you're never truly sure. Got time for two more. You guys had a lot of success stopping the run, especially as early down before you was not the What more could you guys have done defensively just with the MCS offense? I don't think we'll know that until we look at the film. Yeah, that that first half, you know, we did a, we did an excellent job stopping the running backs from running the ball, and then we had opportunities to get Bortles on the ground when we couldn't. And then there were other, other times where we were dropping coverage and, and he scrambled and made some first downs with his feet. So he, he was certainly an effective runner for them in the first half. Thank you.